Truman Capote, in cold blood. Delve into the chilling tale of the infamous Clutter family murder in In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. Based on a true 1959 crime that took place in the small town of Holcomb, Kansas, this book takes you on a journey of discovery as Detective Dewey and his team painstakingly work to uncover the killers. You'll find yourself engrossed by the twisted motives of the two ex-convicts, Dick Hickok and Perry Smith, and their meticulously planned and executed crime that ultimately cost them their lives. Explore the dark psychological and emotional intricacies of the murderers, the progression of the investigation, and the vivid account of the events leading to the tragic murder of the Clutters. The Chilling Account of a Perfect Murder In this book, readers get an inside look at the cold and calculated murder of a Kansas family in 1959 by two ex-convicts, Dick Hickok and Perry Smith. With the purchase of odd items such as rubber gloves, sturdy rope, and white nylon cord, the two men devised the perfect plan for their heinous crime. Their conversation revealed their intentions, as they reminded each other that there were to be no witnesses. The men's lack of information on the number of people in the house they intended to rob made their purchase of 100 yards of cord sufficient to tie up at least 12 people. The Tragic Clutter Family Murders in 1959, the small town of Holcomb, Kansas was rocked by a gruesome crime. The Clutter family failed to show up at church one Sunday, prompting a group of neighbors to check on them. What they found was a gruesome murder scene, each family member had been bound and either shot in the head or had their throat slit. The motive for the killings was unclear, leaving the community shocked and fearful. Murder Mystery Unraveled the Clutter family murder left local law enforcement with no clues or motive. The KBI agent, Alvin Adams Dewey, was called in with 19 detectives to lead the investigation. With no apparent direction, Dewey explained at a press conference that determining the intended victim was key to solving the case. Yet, the coroner could not specify the order of the murders. Ultimately, however, after an intense investigation, the case was cracked, and justice was served. The Clutter Family Murder Mystery The Clutter family was brutally murdered, and their gardener, Paul Helm, reported seeing a ghostly figure at their empty home. With this lead, the sheriff and investigators rushed to the scene, where they encountered a suspicious-looking man. However, after several weeks of questioning Jonathan Adrian, they realized that he was just a curious trespasser and not the killer. The mystery remains unsolved. Clue from a cellmate. An inside job. Floyd Wells, an inmate at the Kansas Penitentiary recognizes the clutter name and links his former cellmate, Dick Hickok, to the family's murder. Floyd's revelation ultimately helps the authorities catch the perpetrators, despite the dangers of snitching on a fellow inmate. In Truman Capote's true crime novel In Cold Blood, the investigation into the Clutter family's brutal murders had stonewalled for weeks. Only after an unexpected tip from an unlikely source, Floyd Wells, did the authorities finally have a break in the case. Floyd, a former cellmate of Dick Hickok, recognized the victims and the killer's description broadcasted on the radio while serving time at the Kansas Penitentiary. Floyd confided in a religious inmate, who urged him to come forward with the information. However, Floyd understood the perils of snitching while serving jail time. To avoid retribution from fellow inmates, he convinced the deputy warden to hear his testimony secretly. He disclosed his knowledge during his scheduled appointment, leaving other prisoners unaware of his cooperation. Through Floyd's revelation, investigators were finally able to uncover the truth and capture the murderers. The book explores the dangers and complexities of coming forward as an informant in prison and the high stakes involved when one criminal betrays another. The Making of a Killer Heist The story of how Dick and Perry became partners in crime and what led Perry to join the clutter heist, as outlined in In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. Dick and Perry, the two partners in the ruthless murder of the clutter family, met while they were cellmates at the Kansas State Penitentiary. Dick initially looked down on Perry, but changed his mind when he heard Perry's made-up story about beating a man to death with a bicycle chain. 
This story convinced him that Perry was a natural-born killer without a conscience, whom he could use to execute his plan to rob the Clutter family. However, Perry's homicidal past was a fabrication, and it was his need for friendship that put him on Dick's radar. Perry had become close to Willie J., an inmate and the chaplain's clerk, who saw potential in him as an artist. When Perry was released from prison, he headed to Kansas to meet with Willie J. But when he got there, he found out that Willie J. had left town, and he had nothing else to do. So he met with Dick and agreed to take part in the clutter heist. After the gruesome crime, the two fled the country with dreams of diving for treasure off the coast of Mexico. Perry followed the news about the case but never showed any sign of remorse. Reading about the large funeral held for the Clutter family, he was only interested in the size and cost of the event. Truman Capote's In Cold Blood is a chilling account of the Clutter murders and the two men who committed them. The book offers a glimpse into the dark motives of the killers, making readers question the limits of evil. Hitchhiking with Killers Mr. Bell, a traveling salesman, unknowingly picks up two hitchhiking criminals, Dick and Perry, on his way to Omaha, Nebraska. Their plan was to kill Mr. Bell and steal his car and money. Perry is supposed to strangle Mr. Bell with a belt when Dick gives him the signal, but Dick is enjoying their lively conversation too much and keeps postponing the plan. Mr. Bell spots another hitchhiker who joins them and foils the murderer's plan. Tracking down the cold-blooded killers. In the book, we learn how Perry and Dick's carelessness and mistakes led to their arrest and sentencing for the Clutter murders in Kansas in 1959. After numerous con jobs, the two were identified by the police through a license plate number. Further leads, such as matching boot prints and Detective Dewey's psychological interrogation tactics, helped to secure indictments. The book presents a detailed account of how justice was served after the heinous crime, inspired by true events that shook the nation. The Clutter Murders On a Sunday in Holcomb, Kansas, Dick and Perry broke into the Clutter's home in search of a safe full of money. Unable to find any, they woke Mr. Clutter and his family and held them at gun and knife point. After separating the family, Perry took Mr. Clutter and his son to the basement and slit Mr. Clutter's throat before shooting him. The rest of the family was also killed, though Perry was unclear on who killed Nancy and Mrs. Clutter. The killers fled with only a few possessions and contemplated killing each other before ultimately driving away into the night. In the end, In Cold Blood leaves readers with a sobering insight into the woes of humanity, the complexities of the criminal mind, and the consequences of vicious actions. A tale of heartbreak and cruel intentions, we witness how coincidence, circumstance and a lust for riches led two seemingly disconnected individuals, Hickok and Smith, to commit an unspeakable crime. Capote explores how even in the darkest of situations, the pursuit of justice prevails, and the determination of officers to uncover the truth leads to the eventual apprehension of the convicts. This thought-provoking book reflects on what lies beneath the surface of the human psyche, reminding us of the importance of empathy, compassion, and understanding, even when faced with irredeemable actions.